Hey guys, it's Neha. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how to make this delicious caramel slice which is made of three gorgeous layers. The first layer is the base which features a melt-in-the-mouth coconutty shortbread cookie crust. This base is made of only four ingredients, 125 grams of melted butter as the binder, half cup of brown sugar for sweetness, 1 cup of flour, either all-purpose flour or plain flour and half cup of coconut. If you're not a fan of coconut, you can leave it out. Mix all these ingredients together in a bowl. The reason why I'm using brown sugar instead of white sugar is because it adds more flavor and also you don't want the base to be too sweet because the second layer is loaded with sugar. The mixture should appear a bit crumbly, just like this. Now you want to line a baking tin with baking or parchment paper. Make sure the sides are overhanging which will be easier in the end to remove the slice later on. Add your mixture to your pre prepared tin and press your base super firmly into the tin, either with a spatula or with the back of your spoon. You want it pressed as hard as possible so use your muscles. Bake in the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 12 minutes or until slightly golden. This second layer is the chewy caramel. This caramel is made of three ingredients, 125 grams of butter, one can of sweetened condensed milk, which is around 395 grams, and one third cup of golden syrup. Start by adding all your ingredients into a pan on medium flame. You can choose to leave out the golden syrup if you don't have any because it's just for extra flavor. It's important to heat the caramel on medium flame only. If it's too hot, the caramel would burn and would stick to the bottom of the saucepan. Keep stirring your caramel until it turns goldenish brown and thickens like this. Ensure that your caramel layer is not too runny. It will take about 10 to 15 minutes to thicken. And once your caramel is ready, pour it over the base and also gently tap it and bake it for an additional 12 minutes. The last layer is a coating of chocolate. For this layer, I'm using 125 grams of chocolate and adding one tablespoon of vegetable oil. Microwave until it's melted. It's very important to add the vegetable oil to your chocolate to ensure that it stays slightly soft when it sits and you can cut the slices perfectly without any major cracks. You can use whatever chocolate you want, white, dark or milk chocolate, it doesn't matter. Wait until your caramel layer is completely cooled before pouring the chocolate. Ensure that each bite can get some chocolate by spreading it around. Top it, tap it to ensure that everything is even and freeze it for at least 2 hours or until set. Take your slice out of fridge 30 minutes before you cut it which will allow the chocolate to soften slightly. When you're ready to serve, carefully lift slice out of baking tin and cut into bite slices. Use a large knife which is dipped in hot water to cut the slices cleanly. Cut long lines first and then into small pieces. You can store it in an airtight container to up to a week. Hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Bye!